जिस आवाज को सुनने के लिए हमारे कान तरस रहे थे पचहत्तर साल के बाद वो आवाज सुनाई दी पचहत्तर साल के बाद लाल किले पर से तिरंगे को सलामी देने का काम पहली बार मेड इन इंडिया स्टोप ने किया As you all are aware of the fact that India celebrated its 75th Independence Day a few days back with the unfurling of the tricolor at the Red Fort a ceremonial 21 gun salute was given during which the made in India howitzer gun the A tags along with the British origin 25 pounder were used it is indeed a great moment for all of us when it comes to becoming self reliant especially in the defense sector If we try to understand the 21 gun salute tradition it originated from the western navies to send a message that there were no hostile objectives taking this tradition forward now it is being used to give respect to the head of states senior military commanders and other top officials all over the world india naturally inherited this tradition from the britishers and continued 21 gun salute during republic day independence day and other important events on the battlefield an artillery gun plays a very important role to eliminate the enemy target area from a very long distance and also to give protection to its troops as an example we have seen during the kargil war where the bofo guns played a very important role it is to be known that as the indian army for quite some time was looking to replace its older guns with the all new 155 mm artillery gun the drdo started the project in the year 2013 the advanced stored artillery gun or to put it simply a tags is a 155 mm 52 caliber howitzer as previously being told it is developed by the drdo an organization which is responsible for providing cutting edge military technology to all the three armed forces manufactured by two indian companies that are bharat forge and also tata power strategic engineering division for the indian army though it took around 4 years for the development of the howitzer gun but on the other hand a tags showed impressive results during its testing and trial phase one thing that needs to be mentioned here is that it broke the world record under 155 mm howitzer gun by firing the round to a distance of 48 kilometers breaking all the records and surpassing all the ranges when fired by the other guns under the same category shows that the capability developed by the indian defense manufacturers during these years as the a tags is developed and designed indigenously it gives much strength to the army and fulfill all the other requirements this will also give much required confidence in developing a more advanced artillery gun variant in the future what makes the a tag so special well under the same category it is 2 tons lighter than the other guns which makes it easier for the army to deploy the a tags at the forward post at a higher speed and can be towed by the heavy duty helicopters to place it at a higher altitude like ladakh it has been designed to provide greater accuracy and more range at the same additional features like faster deployment rate advanced communication systems and mechanized command and control system make it more lethal since there were certain reports of mishaps during the a tag testing and trial phase at pokhran the drdo took a very close examination of the factors involved and changes were made accordingly in june 2021 the high altitude testing phase at 15000 feet was successfully ended and finally in may 2022 all the field trials were completed with various events happening around the world safeguarding national interest is very important and becoming self reliant especially in the defense sector helps to maintain a balanced posture in the multipolar world 
visible examples like indigenously building Ines Vikrant or the LC Tejas on which I have made a detailed video and will be providing link in the description gives a major boost and confidence not just to the armed forces but also to the Indian defense forms.